Uh, now I mentioned something important, so everyone listen to me carefully. Feudal warlords began constructing small protective walls in China as early as the 7th century BC in an attempt to protect themselves from invading Mongolians. Mongolians, as we all know, are crazy as loons and almost as violent as John Matrix, a retired black ops commando who launches a one-man war against a group of South American criminals who have kidnapped his daughter. Around 200 BC, the Qin Dynasty began joining together these small sections of wall because they realized you can easily walk around small sections of wall. Tiff and I decided to visit the Mutianu section. Although not as famous as the Badaling, it offers a ski lift ride up and a toboggan ride down. We arrange a guided tour at a hotel for 16 euro that includes lunch. Be sure to ask for the minimum number of stops along the way. Tours make their money by stopping at out-of-the-way artisan markets, local museums and the like, all of which will attempt to guilt you into buying something you don't need or want. The Great Wall is made up of many walls. The most famous is the Ming Wall. It is 3,700 miles long. 200 miles longer than the distance between Sarah Palin's hometown of Wasilla, Alaska, and Gary, Indiana, birthplace of the Jackson 5. Upon arriving at Mutianu, we take our ski lift ride up the wall, turn to our right, and walk up a couple of thousand uneven, slippery rock steps. Also, there are bees. We walk through four guard towers, at each one you can't help but think of the thousands of men who have served here diligently scanning the forest and mountainside for an invading army and hoping to see nothing. There are men selling water, beer, and snacks along the wall. We haggle a beer down to a decent price and sit and enjoy the view. Then we ride a toboggan down a mile-long metal slide to the bottom. Oh, and before I forget, you can't see the Great Wall from the moon. It's about as wide as your driveway, and you'd have a better chance of convincing me that Ghostbusters isn't the greatest movie ever made. Next time on Layover Reservations, we go to Hong Kong, where we attempt to solve the King Kong ping pong question once and for all. 